What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today is special because I have came back to the pond where it all started, where I wore this. But I caught this. Stud of a fish. So that's why I'm excited. There's big fish that live here, guys. So no more chasing the little mamas. We're going after a big mama today, AKA Fat Sally. If you have ever seen a channel called AO Fishing, it's kind of a big channel. Anyway, I'm gonna go up here. We're gonna go ahead and get my new boat unloaded. Kind of excited to show you guys. It's pretty cool. There she is, guys. The Feel Free Dorado 125. She's sweet. Huge shout out to Jonathan and the gang at Waterway USA for sending us this boat. Super excited to get out here and show it off for you guys. It is an awesome, stable, wide, plenty of storage. Comes pre-rigged with lights. All you got to do is add a battery. This is what I'm most excited about, though. So we have pedals now. We don't have to worry about wearing our big old muscular arms out and paddling or anything like that. We can just, you know, get a leg workout. Why not? You don't even have to go to the gym, guys. You just got to get out there and whack a big one. Comes pre-rigged. We got four rod holders. We have a box to where we would put our battery whenever we do get a battery. If you guys like this boat, I would love to deck it out with all the bells and whistles. So there's lights throughout the kayak. That battery box is going to power that, power any of the accessories that you decide to put on here. You can also buy a battery to make this an electric only motor where you don't even have to use those nice muscular legs you got. You can just, hey, you can just go out here and fish. I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing at all. Thanks, Waterway USA. Just got to undo our strapino straps bam kind of like my shoes under pressure another awesome awesome feature of this boat first off we got a little rudder but yes sir that is a wheel in the keel it's what i love about a feel free makes it easy to get to the water from the water to the house go inside tell your wife you missed her you never want to go fishing again <laughs> Go, baby. Go. Go. Don't stop. Go. Whoo wee. Whoo. You may have a wheel in the kill, but baby's got some girth to her. All right, guys. So we're just about ready to get started. I have brought three rods with me today. So I've got a chatterbait tied on. I have a buzzbait tied on. And I also have a crappy jig. Now, something that kind of struck my interest this morning i called my buddy and i said listen i need somewhere to film today and your pond's got giants so you know why don't you let me come out there and film he was like sure I told him i was coming out here to hopefully catch a big bass and he was like well hold on you know there's crappy in my lake and i'm like dude you've never told me that it's pretty crappy he said yeah there's crappy in here so i have also brought a crappy jig we're gonna see if we can't catch a crappy today i don't know how many are in this pond but that's also why i went ahead and decided to tie everything on white normally fishing these farm ponds like this one i want to throw something that's kind of like a brim color that's predominantly going to be the main thing that these fish are foraging on but since i heard that they're probably eating crappy i figured i'd tie on everything white and i also brought a brim color chatterbait just in case got some trailers I brought a spinnerbait just because farm pond spinnerbait is normally the way to go if you want to catch the biggest fish in the pond. And then I've also brought our box that we created at Walmart. Now I've added a few things to this. You know, we still got our spook. We've got some jigs. That's what all this is. I've got my crappy tackle right here. Got our hooks. Got a couple crankbaits, some worms. Got two buzz baits and all of my jigs and my worms. I feel like the buzz bait is gonna be the way to go just because we're in the fall right now and it's still hot. Like I know you can see that sweat dripping off my nose like it is. It's warm guys. I'm gonna sweat straight through the winter on into February and I'm never gonna miss a lick. I will sweat, but the fish are probably feeling good and they're probably moved up a little shallower. So got some buzz baits tied on. Wanna catch one on top water. Without further ado guys, Oh, we got to rig our paddle. This is one thing that I think is kind of cool. So feel free designs these kayaks in a way to where your paddle can sit right here on that little groove. And then you just take your strap, flip her up. Paddle's nice and snug. Hopefully we get to use this today. I brought this extra GoPro mount so that I can put the GoPro right here and show off a giant fish right here. Maybe we'll get to do that. This pond's got some giants in it. I'm talking like 
six, seven, eight, nine, hopefully a 10 pounder. I've never caught one. So that would be an awesome thing today. Maybe we'll break our PB. Maybe we'll just catch some crappy. Who knows? Before we get this thing on the water, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Get me where I'm trying to get. And I appreciate you thus far. I've had a ball with this. Let's do it. All right, let's get this old girl in the water. I would say this thing is as stable as mine and my wife's relationship. I mean, sure, we have some arguments and fuss and fight, but hey, that's only when we're deciding where we're going to eat. Everything else is great. Got to use our paddle to push off. Hopefully that's going to be the last time we got to use the paddle today. This pond has so much hydrilla, guys. I don't know if you can see all that grass, but it is thick. So when you get ready to start pedaling this old girl, you just got to lift up, make sure that both of these are out. And then she slides down just like so. Ouch. She will pinch the fire out of you though. Be careful with that. That one hut. So we have our rudder right here. We want to turn left. We want to turn right. Wow. This is sweet. No arms needed guys. Just some nice legs. I mean, hey, what can I say? I think we're gonna start on this other end. Normally when I come out here, I start on this opposite end because that's where the dam's at. And I've always said, you know, the dam's what's gonna hold the biggest fish because it's got the deeper water. The deeper water is normally cooler. I don't really think that matters right now. I mean, it's fall. The water temp's probably somewhere around 70 degrees. These fish could be anywhere right now. So I'm just going to start on this shallower end, run this buzz bait along, see if we can't catch a giant. I said I was going to throw the buzz bait first. Let's see what she's got in her. Oh my gosh, I see a giant gar. I mean carp. Seriously guys, there's a carp going across the water right there that might be 40 pounds. Wow, I would love to come out here and catch that thing. That was crazy. Might be one of the biggest freshwater fish I've ever seen. I've caught some big carp, but that thing was like half as long as this kayak, which is crazy. Definitely into some shallow water right now, but I just saw a tiny bass come up after my buzz bait. Oh, I see a ton of bluegill right here too. I mean a bunch. Holy cow, guys. There's like a hundred small fish right here. Let's get our crappy jig and see if we can't catch one. Just a nice little crappy jig we got out of our Timu package. I mean, I see a ton of little fish right here. It looks like a lot of them are bass. Let's see if we can get one of them to bite. Oh, I got one instantly. Yep, that's what most of them are, guys. Really small bass. Oh, sorry about that. Tiny, tiny bass. That one looks like he's been eaten one time. Obviously, he got away, but he's got some scales missing right there. That's crazy. Now, I know good and well, I saw a lot of brim mixed in there with those. So, let's see if we can't catch a brim. I got something right behind it. I see the shadow. No bite, though. Now, most of those little fish were right over there. Oh, I got one. What do we got this time? This is another bass. I'm leaving them alone. It is another tiny bass. Okay, I'm uninterested in these bass. I hate to sound so negative, but I want one about a million times the size. So, thanks, old girl. If I ever want to come catch some tiny bass for a catching cook, I know where to come. But right now, we're looking for your mama. All right, let's shoot across, see if we can't get into a little bit deeper water. This other end's way shallower than I thought. It's like a foot and a half. Not exactly what we want. I'm gonna try to keep the camera pointed at my bait all day. That way, if I get a bite on top water, you guys can see it. Uh oh, I just got a bite on the water, a little bitty bass. This pond is over infested with little bass. Oh, fish on. Little squealer. This pond's got way too many little squealers in it. I need to talk to my buddy, see if he minds if we get some out. That's the worst thing for one of these farm ponds, guys. If it gets over infested with little fish, everything's just competing and it's not good at all for those little ones, or excuse me, for those big ones. It's great for the little ones because everybody's eating, but you want those big fish to be able to grow trophy size, you know what I mean? Golly, these Shimano reels just sling a light bait around. Guys, if you're just getting into fishing and you're looking for like a beginner reel, 
get a cheap Shimano. And if you've been fishing for years and you're looking for the best reel on the market, get an expensive Shimano. Guys, I don't get paid by anybody. I will tell you this right here is the number one reel on the market. Not necessarily this reel, but Shimano, the brand as a whole, they make by far the best bait casters on the market, period. I mean, anybody can tell you that somebody's got one better. I just, don't, I disagree. And so would most everybody I know that knows what's going on. Shimano is the way to go. Oh, nice little pole out there in the middle of the water. What's beside it? Oh my gosh. A giant is beside it. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Don't get away. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. What a tank. Holy cow, guys. That is a stud. I mean an absolute stud. Holy cow. That's like a six and a half pounder. Wow. That is crazy. I threw right beside this little pole in the water. There's a stump right there below it. And this giant was sitting right there on that stump. Wow. Oh, how neat is that? Yeah, guys. How about that? I mean, that is a tank. Came up and straight got that buzz bait. Just like she was supposed to. Golly. What a toad of a fish. I mean, a toad mama. Look at that mouth. Whew. Sweet fish, man. That is a dang good one. Awesome, awesome fish. Well, guys, it is time to get this girl back into the water. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my gosh, guys. We just got out here. I mean, that's a tank. That fish is at least six pounds. May have been like a six and a half, seven pounder. I don't have any scales, but trust me, that was a giant. Oh man, I feel like the whole trip's been made and we just got here, so. I'm gonna keep throwing the buzz bait though. Obviously that's what they want. Wow, that was fun. I mean, hey, let's throw back beside that pole again. Just see, right? Who knows? Too good to be true. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, that makes me happy. That was a big fish. Uh-oh, I see another little stick in the water. Can we go two for two? I don't guess there was anything beside that one. I don't know what it is about a big stump, but a big juicy largemouth just likes to sit beside a big stump. And it's been that way forever. If you go back and watch some of the Bassmaster clips from the 80s, they were catching giants around these stumps. And as I look out here, guys, this whole little area that we're in right now within casting distance either way, it's full of stumps. So I'm subject to get another big bite at any moment. That's the one he's gonna be on right out there. Here we go. I'm calling it. Oh, fish on. Not a giant. In fact, let's just let her swim around a minute see if she gets eaten by something big. I know that seems kind of cruel, but hey, survival of the fittest, right? Oh, she came off. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this my PB? Oh my gosh. Come here. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. What a day. Oh my goodness. Definitely not a PB. In fact, maybe not quite as big as that last one, but she is a stud. And she's definitely got a little bit more color to her. A lot yellower than that last one. Look at how big this fish is. Oh my goodness. So guys, I had another little fish on. And I was trying to see if that little fish would get eaten. And as soon as that little fish came off, this one just demolished it. So I'm pretty sure this fish was about to eat my tiny bass. Obviously, these fish are eating good. They've got plenty of little fish to eat. Wow. And they are loving the buzz bait. I mean, loving the buzz bait. I mean, that's number two. And that fish is well over five pounds. That's probably a six pounder. 
This is blowing my mind right now, guys. This is the second giant on the buzzbait. I'm telling you, it is the time of year to get out here, get out anywhere, throw a buzzbait, catch a giant. Look at that. I mean, she is gorgeous. Think we're gonna get another underwater release of the old girl? Wow, some days you come out here and you just feel like Kevin Van Dam, and I feel like that today, guys. I feel like I should, I don't know, hold the giant blue Bassmaster Classic trophy over my head or something right now. That was crazy. Those are the two biggest fish that I've caught this year. Those two fish that I just caught in the last 15 minutes. Oh, that's sick, man. God, that makes me happy. Heck, let's quit wasting time. Let's catch another one. So after catching two big ones like that, guys, you always want to check your line. Make sure you don't have any kinks in your line right above your knot. Give it a good tug. Make sure that your bait's still looking pretty. That buzz bait is getting it done, guys. And this buzz bait is an Ozark Trail buzz bait. I don't know if you can see that emblem right there on the eye, guys, but that is Ozark Trail all day long. Walmart, two dollars. Come on, catching studs. I mean, I fully believe there might be a 10 pounder in here. And I fully intend on catching it, if it is. And the cool thing is, guys, when these fish are coming up and grabbing it, they're not just coming up and grabbing it a little bit. I mean, they are straight rolling on it. It's probably going to be my last cast in this little area, and then I'm going to move. I hate to leave this little spot, though, for good reason. So I have already destroyed my swimming fluke. I'm going to put on one of these Kitek Swing Impact. Guys, in my opinion, these are awesome. I mean, you can buy these things at Academy, and as far as the swim bait goes, having a nice little booty shape to it, these have it. And it really doesn't even matter the size. I mean, I've got the 4.8 inch right here, but you can get the small ones, you can get even bigger than this, and they all swim perfect. That's the main thing you want to look for in a swim bait, is having a good you know, good little booty shake. I mean, who don't like a good booty shake? Uh-oh. I see an underwater stump. I see a couple more right here. Do they have a giant beside them? Let's see. No giant beside that one. Let's see about this one over here. Here we come. We're almost in line with it. We're in line with it. Come grab it. Looks like I got some weight behind it. Eat it. Nothing. They are loving the buzz bait today. So guys, something else that my buddy let me know on the phone today. He said, have you ever fished that little pond that connects to the big pond? And I was like, what are you talking about? So apparently there is a canal that goes in the woods right here, just a short little ways, and it connects to another pond that's a little bit smaller. In fact, it's a lot smaller. Uh, check that out on Google Earth. It definitely looks like it's big enough to have a fish in it. So we're gonna trek through the woods, through this little trail real quick, and hopefully come out golden on the other end. I mean, we've already caught two giants, so I don't know how much better the day can get, but hey, let's go see. Iceberg right ahead. Well guys, there it is. That's our little canal. We're gonna ease our way through there. Hopefully our kayak can make it. I don't see why she wouldn't. This is super cool. It also looks super snaky. I wouldn't be surprised if we scare a fish on our way in here. Golly, this is cool. It looks like a spot that I would love to come put a crawfish basket. Oh, I see a tiny bass. That's promising. That means there's at least fish back here. Looks like it's about to get kind of tight back here. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Almost came out of our yak. Oh, we bottomed out. Come on, guys. You know what? Mama didn't raise no baby. I'm getting in this water and we're getting around it. Oh, there went the paddle. Okay, I think we've made it. Got one. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, definitely fish back here. Not a big one but a buzz bait eater nonetheless. Sweet. All right, so I have run this buzz bait through here enough times for a big one to know what's going on. So I'm about to swap over to the chatter bait. We're gonna hope that we can catch one sleeping. Got one. Is it a big one? Feels like a good fish. 
not a giant. Let's go though, guys. Look at the tummy on this one. Wow, she's eating. There's obviously plenty to eat back here. Oh, that is awesome. Look at her mouth. She's got a tail of some other fish sticking out of her mouth. Definitely can tell this one's been eaten. All right, so I'm gonna keep throwing this chatterbait around, guys. Obviously, the buzz bait works. I feel like the chatterbait will work too, and I honestly think that the white is working because of the crappie that are in this pond. We've yet to catch one today, but my buddy says that there's a ton of them in here, so I have no reason not to believe him. He's a good guy. Have I got a fish on? Yes, a little bitty one. Ton of these little fish in here, guys, but obviously these are getting eaten up. I would imagine that those little fish are what these giants are eating because they are getting to be big. Do a little standing and fishing. What have we got here? Guys, if I'm not mistaken, this looks like a nest. Let's go check this thing out. Oh my goodness. What kind of eggs are those? Looks like land before time dinosaur eggs. That's crazy. Those eggs are huge. Talk about an omelet. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know if those are goose eggs or what kind of eggs those are, but there's three of them. It shouldn't be time of year for eggs though, right? Am I wrong? That's weird. I see another little pole in the water. Just threw my bait beside it. I just got crushed. Probably a little girl. Okay guys, it's time to check and see. Can we catch a crappie? Time to put the myth to rest. Are there crappy in this pond? Let's just see. We're gonna do a little bit of pond trolling. Troll this little jig across the pond and see if we can't get a bite. I'm starting to think my buddy was just messing with me because I have yet to catch a crappie. I keep seeing something swirl right there. We're gonna see if maybe that's a school of crappy. Oh, I just got a bite. Come on now, I just wanna catch one crappy just to know that they're in here. Oh, I got a fish. What do we have? Ah, uh, just as I suspected. Another little bass. Not quite what we're after right now. Oh, I got one. It's another bass. These bass are loving this little crappy jig. That's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Hook straight in the top of the mouth. That's exactly where you want them. Sweet. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast out. We're gonna troll to the other end of the lake again. And I'm hoping that these crappy are on the dam. Maybe the crappy are a little deeper right now. That's all we can hope for. I've never trolled for fish out of a kayak, so. Oh, I got one. I got something. He came off, darn it. Well, I had one. I'm getting bit. They just feel small, which could be a crappy. I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes fishing for these crappy. And if I don't catch one pretty quick, I'm gonna go ahead and swap back over and see if I can catch one more big bass before I leave. All right, guys, last cast trying to catch a crappy. I like that cast. <laughs> guys, we are wearing them out. I mean, we've caught a ton of fish on this short little after work trip. It's kind of shocking just how many fish we've caught. Well, just like that, guys, we have completed the day. That was an awesome day. I caught two giants, and uh, man, that just gets me feeling great. I would love to come out here and do that more often. So be sure to hit like, comment, subscribe, guys. Also, be sure and check out Waterway USA, guys. This is an absolutely awesome boat. They've got a bunch of boats that are awesome, but this one right here is by far my favorite. The Dorado 125. That girl is a beast. Be sure and check them out, guys. Hit like, share, subscribe. Get me to 25. Appreciate you. Peace.